I'm Carol Fernandez from Panari Aldona. Hello everyone, I'm Shilpa Tsurankar and I belong to the village of Maim. These are my mother's recipes and uh, for over 40 years she has been making them for us and uh, I always have been fascinated by her you know very delicious recipes. So there was a time that I thought like you know I can I can consider them and let all the world taste these authentic Govan recipes and uh, you know how delicious they are. So I, be I gave up my job, I'm an accountant by profession. And I gave up my job and for the past two years we started this business. The name of our company is Cozineros. And we place our products at uh, all the major supermarkets uh, in Goa. Uh, the market knows us by the brand Cozineros. We have our uh, aged coconut to uh, toddy vinegar. We have a cold pressed coconut oil which is very good for health. And we have our different pickles that is a stuffed mango pickle. We have a mango in brine. We have tainly pickle, brinjal pickle, uh, lemon pickle, prawn balcha, we have mackerel para. And uh, all these recipes are the authentic Goan recipes and they are with no preservative, no chemical preservatives. We also have a, you know, um, a healthy bites division that is uh, consisting of our uh, laddus, multigrain laddus then dink laddus and rava laddus. These we make in pure ghee and with nuts. Cooking is a fascination to me and I loved cooking. So I thought like you know we could start with it. My friend always used to encourage me you have the talent we can commercialize it and it's a lot of hard work but it does fetch a good income. So then we thought we put our both our ideas together and we began with this company. I like to be creative and do something new every day. So, you know, having a desk job and doing the same kind of work is not my kind of a thing. And I'm not satisfied with that kind of a job. Like, as I have mentioned to you, I am an accountant by profession. I have done an office job and I have not been happy. I, have the, I had an income, a steady source of income for myself. Everything was good, but I wanted to do something better. Make myself happy, move on, make a name for you you know, make a name for ourselves and create something. Let the people also know that there is something more to authentic Goan food. What we get in the, uh, what we have tasted from the market is not actually what we, the authentic Goan food is. There is a lot more for us also to, you know, put across here. Shilpa and I work together for the past two years. We have been working together. And uh, whenever we have required help, we have been hiring people from the local place and uh, getting the stocks ready. Otherwise, we have both been working on this job. We knew each other for quite a while actually, uh, for a long time. So uh, I knew auntie also and her food that I had tasted here when I, whenever I used to visit Caroline's place. And uh, we used to love and enjoy whatever auntie used to cook. And considering like, you know, uh, me coming from a different uh, traditional background, you know, tasting these delicacies was a fascination, of course. And uh, being fascinated, going in the market and, uh, you know, when I uh, could go to the restaurant and eat, uh, for example, a resha the bangdo, okay, a mackerel uh, that I would eat in the market was much different than what I would eat here uh, prepared by auntie. 
so i would always encourage her like you know why don't we get this authenticity in the market because what is sold in the name of authentic goan food is actually not really authentic the people should know the real thing uh commercialization is one thing and bringing the tradition preserving the culture uh is the most important thing that we have to look forward to actually being goans that was my thought about this and uh, i come f- i am a pharmacist by profession actually from a sales background uh, i have worked as a medical rep for uh, a long time more than 10 years in the field so i had the marketing knowledge so we got together and uh, uh, we had a plan business plan uh, we did not know how to put it uh, you know in action actually but then we said we discussed okay we sought help from different people government organizations banks and uh, other people initially from whatever savings th- that we had we had given up our jobs and uh, you know we were without jobs G- going back to job was not the option but uh, we saw prospects in this field with these uh, products that we were thinking of bringing in the market especially because coming from the medical background when we encounter so many uh, health issues with the people in today's day uh, you know uh, if we consider the number of uh, cancer cases rising today okay basically what we eat reflects in our health the preservatives and all other things that are used in the processing of food which is uh, taken inside intake uh, is there in the body reflects on our health on our well being so we thought why don't we provide people with the healthier option uh, in our culture in our traditions we have several different traditional methods of preserving food where we need not opt for all these chemical preservatives you can say, uh, preserve them for a longer li- shelf life actually the traditional methods we know uh, like you know for example if you consider this uh, jackfruit nuts in a traditional manner the olden people used to store them in the mud and preserve them for years together nothing used to happen and they used to l- remove little by little and use them during the rainy season and all so such type of methods which are uh, you know preserving the nutrition of the food and yet beneficial for your health w- was the most important perspective towards this business actually so uh, similarly we put it in action in our products here that we have we have a v- varied range of product we put all these without chemical preservatives methods in preserving these foods especially our pickles okay we have a natural preservative that is our toddy vinegar which is also used in different delicacies and are naturally uh, procured here the coconut oil which is unrefined raw and wood pressed okay due to which uh, you know you, no chemical uh, are being going in the uh, customers or the uh, whoever is using this it is not going in the body of that person and he can choose to live healthy <music> and we have to learn to take risk in life actually because life itself is all about risk because if you breathe it's a risk <laughs> you are breathing in covid these days okay and but it's a risk that you take when you choose to survive so we chose to survive through the risk i could have actually being a pharmacist there are so many vacancies advertised uh, day in and day out Uh, by the government but then uh, the limitation that would bring in uh, me coming from the sales background the vast opportunities that i you know uh, saw in the market and as a human being that uh, it gave me an opportunity to grow so the perspective where uh, i can be employed and i can be an employer was the difference because if we today if we are you know complaining about unemployment then we need to be also finding solutions about this 
without waiting for the government to do everything for us when there is the season for a particular product like uh, for mangoes you know we procure those mangoes and we pickle them and we keep them which lasts you know for the whole year the same with tendli the same with brinjal so whenever there is a season we have to overwork we begin our day at 6:30 in the morning where we have to go to the market pick up pick the mangoes the right type that we need and then we bring them here then they are washed sorted out and the work begins that day will end for us at 8:30 9 o'clock in the night because we have to f- finish the first step of salting on the very same day and the purchases are very huge 2000 3000 mangoes so we have to f- that is the way we work when the season is on uh, we two of us work as far as the purchases are concerned but for the other uh, uh, the sink salting work we hire laborers first and foremost a deep satisfaction you know that uh, we have touched the lives of so many different people that is the first thing and uh, you know we are moving on towards doing something more greater and more better where we you know we can impact we can have an impact on the people around us now this uh, s- people are over here in this village this is a small village people basically even how wealthy they are they will choose to settle down at a you know the uh, at a family life like you know the wife will be home taking care of the kids but then even if you stay home there is something more even in the small place that you are in even the home that you live in there is a scope the people here have you know have been influenced they have understood that there is something more even they can do it our goan tra- traditional food is actually the best food you know and the most balanced kind of a diet which keeps a healthy body and uh, fast food is a fascination but here and there once in a while you can go in for fast food but when it comes to your health i feel people should stick to their daily home food and you know uh, paying attention to their health it might you know it begins small at a young age and then as we grow up like you know we carry on with the same uh, values that we have inculcated in ourselves are being very much happy and content and satisfied in this place and in this business to be very honest we began very very small we started with two of us where we were doing everything by ourselves but then the motto was that you know the vision was to grow and grow and employ people we made sure that we employed local people this village people itself we did not hire labor laborers from uh, any other state or anywhere so our motive is that you know we grow and along with us the community also grows uh, and we have attained uh, it to a certain level we have come to that we might not have employed people permanently as yet but uh, you know the demand for labor is there and we are uh, having help from the village uh, villagers and other surrounding people from wherever we bring in okay so we are happy about that about the revenue side the monetary benefits yes of course we have started reaping about uh, from this business okay we have employed a uh, few permanent employees also now who work for us in sales okay so we are ha- happy about that which means that we have grown uh, and uh, we are also having a vision for the future where we will bring this uh, products on the uh, you know platform for uh, for the world actually to taste today the world is digitalized uh, people can you know uh, buy things ev- uh, from anywhere at a- any place in the world so we want to get there 
we have begun small but we will surely end it big when it comes to goan food if you want to taste the authenticity you should go to the roots if you really want to know what it is in the villages from there you will find the real taste of it the essence of it the real culture and the traditions how it is prepared it might be the earthen vessels where it is prepared in preserved in okay and not in the fancy uh, restaurants where you get uh, the the real authenticity is preserved in the villages where the olden people have passed it on to the younger generation and people like us we love to you know continue preserving that and bringing it forward for the uh, future generations also so whatever little effort we can make towards this we are trying to put it in and uh, uh, for the people if you eat healthy or rather as ratan tata says where you know if you eat your food like medicine you will never have to take in medicine it is th- that kind of a concept that we are going with there is definitely hope in this there is definitely scope in this uh, for growth because uh, when we are moving towards uh, organic food today where we want to minimize cancer possibility in pe- people and people have become health conscious but uh, people want doesn't want to compromise on their fast life especially in the metro cities there is lack of space so people who are living in the villages can become a handle support for people who are living in the metros by providing all these without chemical pr- uh, preservatives and you know properly proper food on their platter 